Well, of course, following events at Moses Mabida Stadium at the weekend, it does appear our football is in some state of crisis. Uh, it follows, of course, after what, uh, the 29th of July last year, two people dying uh, during that stampede at the FNB Stadium. Joining us now uh, to discuss this further and generally what should have happened uh, at the weekend uh, is our award-winning sports reporter, Tabiso Sitole. Tabiso, good evening to you. I mean, is it fair to say our football is in some kind of crisis at the moment? It's broad, but I could say possibly. Uh, I think sports in general, when you speak crisis, because one after the other, you find incidences of these happening. But with football, it's becoming, it happens too often. Let me put it that way. In your interview in the last segment, you spoke to, uh, to, to a, a police officer from SEPS uh, down in, in KZN. Brigadier Naika, uh, yes. Yes, and, and you asked him the question on what the chairman of the Prima Soccer League said today, that, well, SEPS does not come to the party. And we see it time and time again, because surely, in 20, on the 29th of July, 2017, two people died in the stampede at the FNB Stadium. Hardly a year later, less than a year, we have something of the same, well, basically nearly the same, it's not a stampede, but you had fans who ran into the field. A couple of months ago, we had fans run into the field in the Land of Pirates match at Loftus. A couple of months before that, you had a Chiefs incident. So it's too predominant as far as South African football is concerned. So when you say crisis, something is going wrong, and I would beg to say it's not only football, I think societal thing, frankly. It, it may be a societal thing in a wider, more broader context, but of course uh, there are specific things to yeah. be done from a, an administration yeah. side of things. Now, uh, the conundrum for government, for example, is that FIFA has very clear guidelines mm. around non-interference. Yeah. But surely it's a problem when you've got the PSL chairperson being uh, a honcho at SAFA and being the chairperson of one of the biggest clubs. How does mm. he censure, never mind his own club, uh, but others that the he league. might go up against in the same league? That it argument just doesn't make sense. That argument has been brought on, I think, for years now. You mentioned something very important. The, there's a Sastra Act that the chairman, Dr. Evan Koza, was alluding to every time, well, during the press conference today. That's the Safety, uh, and, uh, Safety Act in sports, basically, yeah. uh, 2010. The one thing, it was adopted in 2010, let me put it that way. The problem with that act is that it took into consideration the 2010 Soccer World Cup, which we hosted. All things given, that's how football should have been running today. You walk into a stadium, you have your ticket, you sit at your designated seat. That, that <sighs> education that our footballers or our fans had then seem to have dissipated when but someone left. needs to enforce the rules and that's, that's the thing. my problem when you've got people who are yeah. conflicted in their roles it's not going to happen and that's the question then who whose job is it to enforce rules is it the stewards who go to the field and say your ticket opens this case so therefore you will sit here is it the clubs who say look uh, Kaiser Chiefs fans, you sit on this side. The, the only thing that happens at soccer stadiums, and it's the culture of our game. That's why you go to an Orlando Pirates and Kaiser Chiefs game, you have Chiefs and, and Pirates fans sitting together. The culture of the game is such. I mean, you get foreign journalists who come here and say, geez, in England, you'll never see a Manchester United fan sitting with a City fan. It's just ludicrous. Here, yeah, you've got fans who sit amongst each other. So the question is, do you catch the culture of the game in South Africa down the middle and say, look, because we're having these occurrences, now we're going to be strict about it. You sit in your seat. That's something, we, it's tough enough trying to get fans into their seats before a match starts. Now when you're telling them that they're going to go and sit in row J, number 44 at the top, and he's five minutes late for the game already. That's something that I think our culture as, as fans has not set in yet. Well, certainly something needs to give, yeah. and it's easy enough to blame the police mm. and the security management, but I think uh, the soccer administrators uh, have uh, to point uh, some of the fingers mm. at themselves. Tabiso, we're going to have oh. to leave it there, I'm afraid. Uh, our award-winning reporter, Tabiso Satole, they're reflecting on what needs to happen. If the culture changes, it is the fans who are going to have to rethink how they attend uh, football games in the future. We'll leave it at that for now.